Now, let's apply long division to polynomials. So here we have ax cubed minus 14x squared plus 7x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 5. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So guys, two terms, two terms, okay? So this is what I want you guys to do, guys. How do we get from 2x to ax cubed? We have to multiply by what? Guys, from 2 to a, we need to multiply by 4. From x to x cubed, we need to multiply by x squared. You see that? Simple as that. And guys, do you know why I purposely write the quotient here? Instead of here, I write it here. Do you know why? Because I want, I want to kind of nicely line up the x squared, right? You see x squared, x squared? Line them up. Okay? Cool. So let's go, guys. So now, so that once we determine this number, once we determine this number for x squared at the quotient position, okay, let's multiply this in. So now, four, 4 times 2, we get a. x squared times x, we get x cubed, right? This is actually what we're looking for, right? We're trying to match this term, right? Now, next. 4 times... 4 times negative 5 is negative 20, right? And then we, ha we still have the x squared, okay? So guys, now let's go. We have to go top minus the bottom, right? So guys, we got to do subtraction. Right? We got to go top, subtract the bottom here. Okay, so okay, here we got to go, of course, guys, 8 minus 8, gone, right? In fact, ax cubed minus ax cubed, canceled out. Negative 14x minus negative, okay, you got to be careful. Here we have negative 14x squared. We got to minus, minus who? Minus negative 20x squared. So that becomes negative 14x squared. Minus negative becomes plus 20x squared, right? Okay, so guys, now we have what? Negative 14 plus 20, we have positive 6. All right, so the answer is 6x squared. So guys, would you say when we do subtraction, we got to be extra careful? For example, especially this kind of case, subtract negative becomes add, right? So you got to be super careful when you apply long division. But guys, let me show you a trick an algebra trick which can make your life a lot easier. This is what, this is what my personal this is my personal uh, preferred way of, of doing long division. Okay guys, let me show you. So once again, we go 4 times 2 a x squared times x, we get x cubed, right? Now, 4 times negative 2, we get negative 20, and we still have the x squared, right? Guys, here it is, guys, pay attention here. Since we have to go top, subtract the bottom, right? We've got to go subtract the bottom, right? You know what you do, guys? You just bring the negative sign in. You just bring the negative sign in to each term right away. So, guys, bring the negative sign into the first term. This becomes negative 8 x cubed, right? Now, bring the negative sign into the second term. Negative, negative, this becomes what? Positive 20x squared, right? There. You see that? Because we, 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 we are doing subtraction, right? We are going top, subtract the bottom. What I like to do is I bring the negative sign into each term first. Do you know why I do that? Because now I can simply combine. Instead of thinking of it like top, subtracting the bottom, I can just go top, combine the bottom. And it's a lot, I think, human brain, for some reason, it's a lot easier for human brain to do addition than subtraction. Because ad addition is always very straightforward, right? Yeah, because subtraction, then you got to be kind of careful, right? For example, addition is always very straightforward, 
right? But subtraction, right? Five minus a is straightforward, which is negative three. But then we go five minus negative a. Oh, then you gotta go. Okay, minus negative becomes plus. Then that becomes five plus a. Then it's thirteen. Not as straightforward, right? But addition is always very straightforward. And there we go. Let's go. So guys, now let's, all we have to do now is combine top and bottom. So guys, ax cubed combined with negative ax cubed cancels out. Because positive and negative combine them together, together cancel out. Now, negative 14, guys look, negative 14 add 20. Negative 14 add 20, you, you then get what? 6, right? And then x squared. Do you see that? Negative 14 apples add 20 apples, you get six, six apples, right? Simple. Cool? So guys, by bringing the negative sign, guess what? We no, longer, we no longer have to worry about subtraction anymore. We can actually just do what? Addition, right? And you don't even have to think of it as addition. You can just think of, the, think of it as combine, combining terms. So combining the x cubed terms, a negative a, a minus a, see, zero. Now, negative 14 add 20, see, equals six, right? Cool, next. So what we need to do next is what? We have to bring down one term. So positive seven x, so positive seven x. Right, because we all, here we have two terms, so we always have to maintain two terms here as well, right? Okay, next. So now, hey guys, so now let's look at this. From 2x to 6x squared, we need to multiply by what? Guys, from 2 to 6, we need to multiply by positive 3, right? Because 2 times 3, we get 6, right? And from x to x squared, we need to multiply by x, right? So now, let's do this. So once we determine this number at the quotient, now let's multiply this number back into the divisor. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared. And then 3x times negative 5, we get negative 15x, right? And guys, let's try to avoid the subtraction by what? By attaching a negative sign to the bottom here. So attaching a negative sign here, Attaching a negative sign, the negative becomes what? Positive, right? So now let's combine them together. 6 minus 6, gone. 7, positive 7, plus 15, we get positive 22. See? So much easier, right? Nice. Next. Minus 1. Right? So once again, we have to bring this guy down. Because we have to keep two terms, two terms, right? Okay, next. So now, guys, now from 2x to 22x, you need to multiply by what? 11, right? Positive 11. Okay? So, guys, once we determine this number, we can what? We can multiply this number back into the divisor. Okay? So 11 times 2x, we get 22x. 11 times negative 5, we get negative 55. Okay, guys? All right, what do we need to do here, guys? Attach a negative sign to the bottom term here. So attach a negative sign here. Attach negative to this guy, so it becomes what? Positive, right? Okay? That's it. So 22 minus 22 disappears. Negative 1 at 55, we get what? Positive 54. Right? That's it, guys. That's it. So now, yeah, so we finished doing the long division. And now question also asks us to use the result from the long division to write the division statement in two ways. Okay, that's easy.
So guys, so the first way of writing long division is what? We go dividend equals what? Divisor times the quotient plus the remainder, right? Mm -hmm. Cool? Now, the second way of writing division statement is what? It's because everybody divided by the divisor, right? Because so that way we can cancel the divisor right here. So if we go, oh. So you want to look at it as everybody divided by the divisor. OK, so the second way of writing division statement is dividend divided by the divisor equals, because now di divisor, divisor cancels out, right? So we just have the quotient left. Plus, here we have what? Remainder over divisor. OK, guys, that's it. So let me erase this. OK, so that's right division statement. Uh, that's right, the first way of division statement in white color, second way of division statement in yellow color. OK, let's go. So, so in this case, dividend is this guy, right? Which is ax cubed minus 14x squared plus 7x plus 1. Is it plus one, minus one? Oh, sorry, minus one. Equal, let's, let's check, ax squared minus 14x plus 7x minus one, yep. Divisor is this guy, right? This guy is the divisor, which is 2x minus five, right? And this guy is what, the quotient, right? Which is 4x squared plus 3x plus 11, right? Plus, the remainder is the bottom guy right here, right? So plus 54. OK? Yeah. So next. OK, since I'm writing the remainder right here, guys, do you know how to check if you have done a long division correctly? This is how you check, guys. Guys, if you look at it, you always have to compare the divisor with the remainder at the end. The remainder must always have less degree than the divisor. Degree, right? So for example, the divisor here, this is a polynomial of degree what? See, 2x minus 5, right? So this is 2x to the power of 1. So guys, the divisor is a polynomial of degree what, guys? 1, right? Now, look, here, for the remainder right here, 54 is just a constant, right? So 54 is a polynomial of degree what? Zero, right? Remember we talked about this before? Degree zero. So guys, you always got to check. You always got to make sure that when doing a long division on polynomial, the degree of the remainder must always be smaller than the degree of the divisor. It kind of works in a very similar way to when we operate long division on numbers, right? Okay, remember we said, we said that, um, that we, we, still, see, we still compare remainder and divisor, right? Whatever remainder we get must always be smaller than the divisor. So when we operate long division on numbers, then we compare numbers, right? So then we say, the number for remainder must be less than, must be smaller than the number for divisor. Now, when we operate long division on polynomial, then we have to compare degree, right? So the degree of remainder must always be smaller than the degree of um, 
divisor, okay? Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So the first way of writing division statement is right here. Okay, now let's do the second way of writing division statement. Oops. So guys, I'm running out of space. Again. <laughs> well, let's go, guys. Okay, so here's the second way of writing division statement. So who is the dividend? Well, it's this, this guy, right? Which is actually right here. Okay? Which is actually right here, right? So, it's, so the dividend is... ax cubed minus 14x squared plus 7x minus 1, right? And over divisor, which is right here, and also here, right? 2x minus 5 equals the quotient. Who is the quotient? Right here. 4x squared plus 3x plus 11, right? Plus, who is the remainder? 54, right? The remainder is 54. Over divisor, once again, is 2x minus 5. That's, okay. That's it. So the second way of writing division statement right here. Okay, guys, very simple, very straightforward. Okay? Good.